Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to another swanky hat edition of how to get better at League of Legends and pro gaming in general. Um, I had a couple requests for swanky hat videos, so here we are, pulling out the old fedora and getting right to it. So today we're going to be talking about regaining old skills. Um, this is pretty relevant to me personally right now because I took a long break from League and as this is, as you know, a, a League of Legends focused channel, getting back to being a decent League player, if not the best, but reasonable, is going to be one of my main goals for the next little while. Um, so, I figured I would make a video on the right techniques for going about getting back into shape and getting back in practice and something. A lot of times you will take a break for various reasons. Real life gets in the way, um, uh, you get tired of it, you get bored, uh, you can also take a break uh, in order to improve your skills. Often taking a long break is necessary to get better, and you'll find that when you get back to something, you get, uh, you just have a fresh perspective on it and are much better at it than you were before. The reason I took a break in this case was uh, sort of a combination of the last two. I was getting a little bit frustrated with League and, um, you know, there were some external factors, the YouTube comments thing, my, my life has been a little bit hectic lately, so those are my reasons for taking a break. I also want to thank everyone for their extremely kind words um, on my return. I really appreciate it, and it's awesome to know that there's so many people who enjoy my stuff and, and want to keep watching. So, let's get down to it. There are, I would say, three main stages to reacquiring skills when you are trying to get back into something that you were really good at, or even just a little bit good at. You don't have to have been amazing at it to want to recover old skills. Sometimes you'll just find that your skills are, are waning uh, for a little bit, um, for through no fault of your own, and you just want to get back to where you are, um, even without taking a break. These three stages are, I would call, uh, reacquainting, pushing, and cementing. And in each of these three stages, you're going to use a different set of techniques to get back to where you were and to reacquire the skills that you lost. During the reacquainting stage, the goal is to remember um, how to do the thing and why to do the thing. So, uh, how much fun you were having with uh, professional gaming or with um, competitive gaming or uh, with, uh, you really, it doesn't have to be gaming. These techniques work for anything, but we're obviously going to be talking about gaming here. Step number one to do for for figuring this out is to watch other people do it. Uh, obviously, I'm a big proponent of watching streams for many reasons, but uh, some of them are obvious. Um, and watching streams when you're getting back into a thing will rekindle your excitement about doing this thing. If you watch people who are really, really good at anything, really, it's very hard to keep from being excited about it. So. Um, step one for me, getting back into League of Legends, is starting to watch League of Legends streams again, and I have been doing a lot of that lately. Now, while you're getting back into playing, you're going to find that you are not as good as you were. So the trick is to do things that are not very demanding and to have fairly low expectations of yourself. Don't enter a tournament. Don't jump right back into, uh in this case ranked play or ranked fives or um, like don't uh, do thousand dollar buy-in poker if you haven't played poker in five years. This seems obvious but it's actually very hard to make yourself not have the same expectations that you used to. I used to play a lot of chess and I um, haven't played in, in years uh, more than on and off and when I sit down in front of a chessboard, as I do every once in a while, like playing with friends or whatever, I can almost see the moves, right? I get so close, and it's so frustrating not being able to uh, play at the level that I used to be able to. But the trick is to just not really care about that, to redefine the goalposts and make yourself um, play to have fun rather than play to be competitive during the reacquainting stage. So, have fun, watch other people do it, have low expectations, do not try to be a professional, um, and you will know when you are ready to leave this stage when you find yourself actively enjoying 
doing whatever the activity is again. When you find yourself being getting up in the morning and being like, "Man, I really feel like a game of League. I really, I really can, could go for some League right now." Um, and that's when you're ready to enter stage two, pushing. The pushing stage is the hard stage because in this stage you have to play constantly. Once you're starting to have fun with it, you have to take that fun and you have to channel it into rage. You need to be um, angry at yourself for not being as good as you used to be. I usually give the advice that you should be serene, but when you're trying to recover old skills, uh, judging yourself for your failures will help. If you watched my How to Get Better at League of Legends video, which I think it's a fair bet that almost all of the people watching this video have, and if you haven't, it's, it's worth taking a look at, um, you will find that during that I talk about taking responsibility for your failures. Well, during the reacquainting stage, you shouldn't do that. You should not take responsibility for your failures. During the pushing stage, you should take responsibility for all of your failures, even the tiny ones, because it's important that you beat yourself up about getting better. Um, and you should, like, live and breathe that shit. You have to you have to play like your life depends on it because you're trying to be uh you're trying to get back to where you were, right? So you need to put some work in. You need to have some blood, sweat and tears. That's just going to happen. Um and if you want to reacquire your old skills, this is the fastest way. Do not jump straight to this stage. Don't skip the reacquaintance phase, because if you try to do this without the, the core of enjoyment and fun, if you try to just force yourself to the I am a professional and this is what I do stage, you are going to both fail and hate yourself. And there's a, a difference between getting sad and depressed about failing and getting angry about failing. And I also want to stress, raging, uh, getting angry at yourself about your mistakes does not give you license to get angry at other people. This is obviously a problem in the League of Legends community, but raging at your teammates is stupid and counterproductive and will never get you anywhere, so just don't do it. You will know when you are ready to leave this stage when you feel that your mechanical skills are uh, improving rapidly. Um, so if you find your, your mental pathways opening up again and you feel like you can you know make the key flash or uh, snap judge that hand of cards or whatever it is that we're talking about if you feel like the basic skills are starting to come back to you you can leave the pushing stage but until you start feeling like you're improving you need to work at it uh, because if you just stay in the reacquainting stage forever then you're going to just be a casual which is fine but we're not talking, uh, you know, playing games casually is obviously fine, but we're not talking about people who are in this casually, we're talking about people who really want to get good, because that's you and that's me. And then, finally, once you start having these, uh, you, your skills start to return, um, you want to enter the cementing stage. This is where you make the game a part of your life. So, rather than uh, casually playing it and kind of having fun with it and rediscovering your enjoyment with it, as in the reacquaintance stage, or making it everything you do, as in the pushing stage, you're just going to settle into a routine. Start playing on a schedule, um, make it part of like your, your daily activities, playing this game just a little bit. And once you make it sort of an indelible part of your life, just part of who you are, you'll find that the basic skills that you reacquired and the enjoyment that you d rediscovered um, during the last two stages forge themselves into real skill. And that's when you can start really playing or uh, performing at the level that you were before. So, just to recap really quick, there are three stages to reacquiring skills that you have lost reacquainting yourself with the fun, um, which includes watching and learning and enjoying uh, playing normals and ARAMs and whatever if, you, if we're talking about League of Legends. Pushing yourself, which means grinding out the ranked games, joining customs and, and, uh, and forcing yourself to get perfect CS and beating yourself up about mistakes, and cementing those two as part of your life forging the enjoyment aspect and the skills aspect 
into a coherent and cohesive whole. So I hope you guys have find this have found this helpful. Um, this is certainly uh, applicable even if you're not trying to reacquire old skills, but it will work best as a set of skill techniques if that's what you're looking for. Um, as always, post, post questions and comments in the comments below. Feel free to rate this video and subscribe to my channel. I enjoy it if you do. Um, you can check out my League of Legends content. You can check me out live at twitch.tv slash Um And yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will catch you next time. Cheers, folks, and GG.